I just want to see what's on the pedestal, but I'm too short. It's like it should be on fire, but my hands aren't on fire. And I can't see the fire. The door glitches out sometimes. I don't know what's happening. It's like a lot of games just hide stuff behind the camera for memory purposes. Welcome back to Super Mario 64. We have 95 stars. Let's go get two more. We got like three of them last time. Yeah, one of them took a lot longer than we expected to because I was afraid to go to that big hole there because I didn't want us to get like sucked out. Oh wow, we never even opened up the uh, cannon. There's a cannon? Yeah, okay. right there. Okay, my question is, is what cannon is it? Is it like non-cannon? Is it semi-cannon? Oh no, it's cannon. Okay. So it, was it was part of the extended universe, but they since adapted that into the proper cannon. Ah. So it's kind of like a Thrawn. Yeah. Where, like, he's just a character everyone likes, and he's just barely, he's, like, in the extended universe, and then they went, like, let's bring him into the real universe, and I guess Rebels ends kind of weird or something like that. I don't know. I I kind of fell out of Rebels for a while near the end there. They had, like, the one character I like near the end, which was, like, the Jedi, the, the Bendu, I think was his name. Which is, like, the only person, I think, who's actually represented the Force correctly in the entirety of <laughs> Star Wars. I think you have to spin the other way. Where he's just like, I used both the light side and the dark side, and I stay neutral in the whole thing, because that's how the Force is supposed to be. And I'm sitting here going like, well, why is he the right person, and he's treated like an asshole? <laughs> Literally, what do you think the Force is? It's like a neutral thing that the Jedi and the Sith tap into. It doesn't care if you're good or evil. I want to see Jedi shooting lightning out of their fingers. <laughs> do you think lightning's neutral? Lightning don't care. <laughs> power, by its very nature, is not good or evil. It is how the power is used. Exactly. The dumbest shit I ever heard most of the time. Oh, we're not getting that coin. Oh, it's way over there. Well, technically, he dropped like three coins. Oh, and I they're got gone. One of them, so they're gone now. Yeah, I don't think I'd get that snowman to do anything. You can, but he, he like kept stopping to try to chuck a snowball at you, and it threw him off. It's also that weird little ledge. Yeah, also the up. weird angle. We'll keep. We should keep them in mind, though, because I forget how many coins they give you. I know there's more in the giggle. Yeah. <laughs> Just trounce my butt. Yeah, that guy may be easier to take out. Whoop. Okay, didn't do the mean to do the spin kick, but I'm gonna take those fancy points. That's a funky move that I like never see used. It's because it's pointless. Like it's as pointless as the punch punch or the break dance. <laughs> If he's gonna break cycle like this, I don't think there's a way to kill him. Try to spin the other way. I've always had more luck going the other direction. Yeah, he's like watching you too closely. You've. I don't know if you can get him. I swear you can, but. Maybe you have to, like. Come on! See, I told you it's that stupid U turn thing. And this is the part that breaks my heart, because you have to, like, get the coins from these guys, but if you do, you block yourself off from getting that thing. Okay, come a little closer over here, so I can... Okay, well then... Fudgy. And all your fudgy non-goodness. I actually kind of like the three-hit combo, if only because it gives you a chance to follow up if your first move missed. Get that before 
I freeze to death. <laughs> oh, Mario. Yeah, see, this is six coins I have to miss out on. Hmm. Because I need to get over here. Yeah, like, you could maybe get three of them, but that's getting kind of risky. Come on, Turtle Shell, you can do it. Well, I'm purposely going slow, because I don't want to crash in anything. If I do, I have to miss out on those two red coins around here. all the coins I can get around here. I know there's there's some up here. Right? Yeah, there's some right here. And I think this leads to the igloo. Yeah. The igloo should have plenty. I don't remember. The igloo probably has the blue switch. All right, I have to crawl. Yeah, you have to crawl. I don't remember if there was any <laughs> Mario, Mar Mario, are you doing Are you doing okay, Mario? I don't know why suddenly, like, being on the edge of the whole thing was just like, no, we're gonna have a weird moment there. I know there's plenty of coins in here. They've been doing that from the start. Yeah, see, there's plenty here. It's just, oh, yeah. There's a vanish cap you need to get it at some point. I wonder how many of these coins are actually in the glass, and how many are just separated. Oh, well, that's why we never got... Yeah, never opened cannon. up a cannon. You know, the thing I was thinking about earlier today was, like, the more I learn about Dragon Ball canon, the more I kind of dislike the series. Dragon it's, Ball? Yeah. Well, yeah, because you, like... Like, look at the gods. Like, the more you go, like, oh, King Kai's the top god, and then he's, like, five down from the top gods we have now, and it's, like, it kind of becomes a lot less fun the more I learn about it. I never imagined he was the top god. I just always figured he was, you know, like the old master, like, Roshi or something. Like, he's just kind of a hermit that happens to be Here we go. higher ranked. <laughs> And like, also... he, like, he always felt like he was about as highly ranked as he ended up being, to me. I mean, there's also the fact that, like, Majin Buu is supposed to be this big supreme, like, I embody all the chaos in the universe, and then it's like, Beerus just shows up and goes like, mm -hmm, who said something about chaos mm -hmm. on my watch? It's just one of those, like, the more I learn about stuff in the series, the more I kind of go like, Ugh. Yeah, it, it very much does give the impression, and this is exactly what happened, that it was kind of made on the fly. Yeah. It's there wasn't like... a final idea in mind when it was started. I mean, isn't the joke that, like, Toriyama's just been like, did I kill him and just get... No, he just... He just left. He just left somehow. Like, the point is, like, Toriyama's just riding by the seat of his pants half the time. Oh, he absolutely is. Yeah. But somebody, uh, somebody mentioned that, like, the... The, the reason we have so much problem with that is we look at Dragon Ball as being far more important than he looks at it. Yeah. Like, he doesn't only make Dragon Ball. He's got Dragon Ball and, like, I don't know, a dozen other mangas. You got short stories and everything all going on simultaneously. I... On top of doing all the artwork for Dragon Quest and other games. You know, he actually had a thing for, like, Dragon Quest XI when it came out. He goes, like, if I had known it would have been this much work years later, I would have said no. <laughs> and it's like, you know what, I at least understand him, because it would definitely have been one of those moments of, like, 30 years? F fucking no. But, uh, but like, given actually... that he has all of this crap going on, honestly, for him and his workload, Dragon Ball is kind of an afterthought. Mm -hmm. Like... He makes it when he needs to, and when his friggin' publisher tells him to crank out another volume. 
And it, so it kind of falls on us going, but this is the most important thing and it has to be perfect. And he's just like, heck, and let me just crank out another chapter to make the publisher happy so I can get back to my other 100,000 projects. I actually read some of those, like that whole, like his little one shots here and there. Mm. I did not care for most of them, honestly. Yeah, it's funny because so, some of them just. Well, there's that. Honestly, the some th some jokes do not age well in a lot of things. Yeah. But it's also kind of like I just don't think he's as funny as people thought he is most of the time. Because there's definitely like, aha, I get the humor and everything, but it's also kind of like mm, I don't care for it. I think an amount of it is just humor style, and I just don't think when he's actually trying for comedy, his style of comedy is my cup of tea. Just I, not my thing. There, there's literally. I think it is a much more Japanese style. Yeah, though. it's definitely got to be that whole thing because it's like that, like that episode of Super where Doctor like Ariel shows up. Yeah, I, I did not care for that episode. Everyone loves it because it's like, oh, it's the Doctor Slump episode all over again, and I'm just sitting here going like, this is kind of crap. It's just not funny whatsoever. Yeah, I feel like he has a very Japanese style of humor. Especially when you have Vegeta, of all people, go like, Oh no, it's a gag character. It's a manga gag character. We're, we're never going to beat them. I'm like, it doesn't work, guys. Not for me. <laughs> I get it. Haha, ha, it can be funny. But if you've got Vegeta doing the stupid joke, you've lost me. Don't think there's anything up there. I know, but... Reminds me of something from Sunshine, which is kind of funny. Uh, so what are we doing in here? What was this star? This is go to town for the red coins. Ah, uh, okay. So we're just grabbing the other coins while we're on this side. Yeah. We gotta get the coins eventually. Why yeah. Not? And that's, of course, that's going to involve us going... Also, I just want to see who we can piss off with Dragon Ball now. Because <laughs> we literally did three episodes where we went off on Kanika and Ant-Man for some reason... At some point, I gotta get it off my chest. I don't know when we're gonna do Dragon Ball again. That I need people to understand that you can spell Frieza with an I. And if you wanna, if you wanna argue with me on that, I want you to look at Doctor Breed's name spelling and tell me how it's pronounced. <laughs> Is it pronounced Bryce like everyone does for Frieza? No, it's not. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the Romanization is weird. And this is why I, I still pronounce it Cyrano. <laughs> if you did wanted me pr to pronounce it Cherno or whatever, like you spell it differently when you localize it. Just if it's spelled C I R N O, I'm pronouncing it Cyrano. I, it just it's also the fact that it's like guys, it's for the trademark. I hate to tell you this, but they have to trademark Frieza. And Frieza is literally two letters from Freezer. I don't think they would have gotten the trademark from that for anything. I think somebody would have gone like, mm, too close, not getting it. Also, it just looks make it look more alien, which is kind of like, you know, another good point in its favor, because he's an alien. I know it's weird for people to understand it, but he's an alien. <laughs> Did you know that Frieza is an alien? I just learned that today. It's the damnedest thing, honestly. I don't know, for some reason I thought you could, like, pull that out. Yeah. But like, Mario I don't think you can pull in this game, though. That's... Nope. You can only push. It's a le not that's the thing a, I'm that's to be on right now. That's an Akarna time thing. <laughs> With the same series engine here going. Hmm. I do need to. I gotta I need go to fly again. Closer. Or you can raise the water level. Is there a spot I can raise the water level? Yeah. God, this you don't have to use them at all. Oh, you could also kill the uh, Strider. For some oh, point. the Striders, yeah, the water Striders. It's gonna be the Naka. How many Striders are there? There's there? a couple over here. That guy's phasing in and out of existence. Gonna be me knocking over rain on random shit for no reason. <laughs> going off on social issues and then he went off on manga. I don't get what they're going off about. And another We thing. just woke up today angry, okay? 
And another thing, I need all you bitches who have av uh, anime avatars to stop being assholes online. What the fuck's wrong with you? It's literally- Making anime fans look bad. <laughs> Just be alright people. <laughs> Try not to be assholes. How hard is it not to be an asshole? It's literally not in your nature to be an asshole. I think you do have to do the scoot. No, you can do it. It's over there on your left. Don't you, don't you tell me where everything's at. Okay, go to your right. But you said it was on my left. Yeah, it's up there. Well, but you said it was on my left, and now you're telling me to go on my right? Well, it was on your left at the time. God, you and your directions. I do know I literally run a great, great group that I call a Team Directionally Challenged <laughs> for a reason. The reason is none of us understand directions. And I can tell you this reason... I left, for, right? I can tell you this raid tier is going to get very annoying because there's already a boss that does the thing where it's like right and left wing attack. And it's like, oh, fuck. I'm literally going to have pets problem where I'm like... I'm gonna be the main tank, and I'm gonna have to be like, it's left, it's left wing tank, go to your, go to your right, everyone, and I'm the one who has to go to the left, because I'm the main tank facing the boss. At least it's not called Larboard and Starboard. I will never forgive Omega for that. Larboard? What the crap? <laughs> I don't think anyone should give her Omega for that. I mean, in Omega's defense, it, uh, it, it, it worked. Makes, it worked. <laughs> it makes sense. It hit you. That was the plan. Well, no, I mean, it makes sense because the fact it's supposed to show how old Omega is, the fact that he's using an archaic word for port, and the fact he sees himself as a ship of some kind. I mean, I see it as worked as an attack. He hit you, didn't he? <laughs> He confused the hell out of everyone. I the think worst, that's a star. It's a star. The worst thing that makes it annoying is that it's in normal mode, you always get hit by it anyway, because you, no matter how hard you try, you're going to get hit by it, because the thing pops out too... I'm to jump it from further back. It pops out too slowly in comparison. It's like, hmm. Savage at least makes sense, because you're not supposed to see that shit coming, but... <laughs> normal mode, you're supposed to give me a little bit of a warning beforehand that's not... And you had your five seconds, and smack... Do it. I will murder you, even though you're not mur murderable. Okay, so the red coins alone. The red coins eight alone. Of them, get us. Eight of them to each, so that's going to be 16. So 16 coins, that'll knock us down to 90, 84? Because I've gotten up to 94 on this already. Oh, there's things right there. Yeah, so if we can get 84 coins, then only the red coins will do it for us. So, five more coins. I'm willing to bet there's more up top. There's literally a thing up there of coins. That's a star. No, that's coins. I remember Is that a coin? Yeah, I remember popping that open. Because you, you thought it was going to be the stars, but it was like way... Oh, that's coins. right. Yeah. Because they didn't put a star on top of a star. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to actually... Something here is a little suspect. A little bit of a sussy baka here. God dang it. <laughs> we didn't want that one, but okay. Oh no, that was the... Oh yeah, cool. Hey, got it anyway. Because they just put like 800 coins in one of those. I would suggest raising the water level again. No, I need to, because I need to get to town. Yeah, I suppose you can go this way. Probably the intended way. Mario? He's stuck on the wall. Oh, I pushed it too far that I can't. I just got a long jump this way, then. <laughs> no, I was gonna do the long <laughs> jump and go like, Cowboy Bebop sucks! <laughs> Just to like, they are always like, oh, they're shitting on DBZ, what else could they do? Like, this one show that everybody loves sucks! Yeah, you know what? I bet, I'm willing to bet if you raise the water level, you can't even hop over the water over the fence. You have to cannon. 
So getting the water level up is purely just to talk to the bob -omb. And I think even then, you want to leave and re-enter with the water being lower, so you don't heckin' drown when you're swimming over to the place. So, I would... Honestly, I would just leave and re-enter at the highest water level. That'd probably be the easiest way to do it. Yeah, it's, it feels kind of pointless. To it, have it does feel a little weird, like they really didn't put a thing higher, but... Oh, and they put you all the way back here. Yeah, I think the point is, is I think they want you to realize that you can affect the water level like that. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, so how did you do this before? Did you triple jump in? I think I triple jumped in. Ooh! Ooh, almost had it. Nah. Nah, I don't think that was good enough. I was like right in the middle. No, that's actually the highest I believe it can get. Yeah, it, it may be able to go higher, but that's high enough. And that's all that matters. I think the one thing that irritates me more than anything else is, is that Lakitu will refuse to move left or right past a certain point when there is nothing blocking his path. <laughs> Going for a flight! Oh, they didn't even line it up right. The monsters. Poor... Oh. Dorji. Cool, got them all. You all did. Right. Alright, now let's try this for realsies. Yeah, like they can... They line... That's weird. They didn't it's... line it up right so you can shoot through it easily. It's You're probably confusing. supposed to jump in there from the thing. Might be. Bonk. <laughs> Go out of bounds. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. This seems like a bad thing for Mario. Please don't. <laughs> this is the thing that they do, like, even if you have the water level low enough, you can't go through that one bit there. Mm. I think it actually prevents you from going to the top. I mean, kind of neat that they put that up there, but... You do need metal cap for some of them, I think. Why? I think some of them are in those things. You can lower the water level. Check them out. Or I shut it for you. <laughs> Sorry, climbers only. But that's stupid. Oh, he looks so sad. <laughs> oh, I'm a water bug. Oh, everybody's gonna call me a Jesus bug for some reason. They're like, we do it differently. I don't understand you people. <laughs> Leave me alone. I just want to live in solitude. Is that a spider? Oh. Like I'm not doing anything fancy, I'm just... I'm living. Just leave me alone. Okay, these two... Yeah, I think you have to lower the water level. It should be down there on the ground somewhere. Whoa. 
Because, like, I don't think you can get to the ones that are on the roof with the metal cap. Oh, I can't even round pound. I can't, I can't punch, punch either. Really? Okay, so as it turns out, Metal Cap Mario kind of useless underwater. <laughs> Uh, I think it's on the right hand. It's either on the left or right hand side near the castle on the bottom. I didn't see it on this side, so it's probably down the other. Oh, there's the cap. cap yeah. Or not. Maybe I was thinking of the vanishing cap. Must be, um... Maybe on the front left? Oh yeah, you gotta vanish cap your way to that one at some point. I like the idea that being underwater actively hurts Mario. Have you tried holding your breath underwater for longer than you need to? Like, he's not even... It's just immediate. Oh, is it like back here in the uh, in the thing? I think it's back here in the thing. That's a switch. Switch, not what I was thinking about. There it is. It does actually make your job easier. Oh, now all the fire things are active again. Oh no, the fires are on fire. Um, I'm not sure did know. something. Ah, my side. Sure did something, what did it do? I don't know, it lasted a long time. It has to be a platform that I need to know about. Somewhere. So all the coins, for the most part, are within um, the breakable blocks. Yeah, no, I... And usually it will involve you wall jumping up buildings to get to the ones on the roofs. <laughs> what? Hey, whatever works. Man. What was that physics about, Mario? I just had you punch. You didn't need to go all wonky donkey about it. Well, he was standing on the edge. <laughs> Listen, I will tell you when you're standing on the edge. So when you're fighting the warrior of light, you're like, What? This story is awesome! Then you realize you have a whole new expansion to go through, and it's like, This is gonna get more awesome? And it does. <laughs> really? You can't break a block with a dive? Well, yeah, you're taking a dive. Did you think the pipe was gonna go that well? Okay, so there's two on the buildings behind the camera. Yeah, no, I know. Okay, there's one right here, and then there's one on the other building. So the one on the... the one behind the camera now... I remember always having trouble getting to. Maybe because you were a stupid baby back then. I mean, this may be a way to get there. Mario, if you, if make you can... a decision there. You're, you're pole dancing, not pole physicking through. Funny thing is, I literally remember that happening here. I remember having a monumental amount of trouble grabbing onto that thing. It's a pole, Mario. It's a pole, Mario. <laughs> Don't need to go too hard with this. Yeah, so that one over there is kind of hard to get to. You may be able to long jump to it from here. But those kind of get in the way. I'm pretty sure you can, like... Yeah, these two just wall jump up between these two buildings. <laughs> Would have been nice if they put a heart down here, though. Actually, I could have sworn they did. Maybe they figured all the red coins were enough. 
that somebody would actually be talented enough to get them. <laughs> yeah, now that other one is the one that gives me trouble. What, this one? Like, yeah. Like, maybe you could long jump up there from the top if you long jumped from, like, the bridge or something. But I seem to remember wall jumping up between these two. Like hey! That. And the angle of the fence, since it's not actually parallel to the building, would make it so, like, if you didn't wall jump just right, you just kind of careen off somewhere and miss the building or something. Cool. <laughs> hey, oh. I didn't mean that to happen, but... I mean, okay. I'll take it. Why are you running away from us? Does the one-up not want to be consumed? No, it's my life. It's not now. It's now or never. I don't want to live forever. Go to town for red coins. All right, we're almost at a hundred. You want to do a hundred next time or? This yeah, time? let's let's do one more today. Okay. Because I think we've only gotten like we spent a lot of time doing things. I'll probably edit out. <laughs> no, there's still more uh, more coin in there. What? Yeah, there's another one in there. What are you talking about? In wet dry world. I'm going. I'm doing the triple jump. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you're high enough to get to the cannon, it's fine. Dude, I'm always high enough for the cannon. <sighs> Though admittedly, it may need to be... Less high, too bad. Not gonna happen. No, you actually need to be higher. There's only so many edibles I can <laughs> You want to talk about a social problem needs to be getting fucking done. Let's talk about the marijuana situation. But... Uh, no, I need to go and, more. Yeah, it needs to be higher. Which means we get to do this again. Well, actually, this time... I oh, yeah, we can use the box this time. It's so funny looking back on Dare and going like, wow, this kind of just did not work as well as they thought it did. <laughs> In fact, it went the opposite of what they thought. In fact, I dare to say, what a waste of money. I mean, they tried. They tried, but... That's what I want. Like somebody was going. Easy the, shot. Easy shot. Somebody in the comments was going like, did they say they were going for the 120 stars? I don't remember them saying if they were, because he hated to see people start this game up and then not get the 120. Mm. And I, it, it was literally on the video where we did this, all the secret castle stars, and I kind of thought, listen, if we did the secret stars for the castle, we're in it for the long haul. There's no way somebody goes out of their way to do those if they're not getting all 120. Yeah, I mean, admittedly, may also be new to the channel, and if so, welcome. Well, um, but I'm not calling them out on anything. I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm just kind of finding it funny. It's like. Yeah, if we, we just did the hundred. We just did all the secret castle coins. We're we're definitely going for all of these. Yeah, and like we're not necessarily like the friggin' completionists or anything, but in general we try to full clear games when we do. As best so, we can. There, there's a certain point to where I could look at a game and go like, no, nah, that's not happening. Yeah, that is not worth our trouble. Listen. But something like this, where it's just like. I feel like going for only the 70 feels like... Not the full experience. Yeah, like, it almost feels like you're intentionally cutting it short. Okay, there's a way to get through this quicker than most things. I think it involves wall jumping. But I don't know if I can wall jump off of this thing at a good angle. Hmm. But I think it's, like, something stupid where you, like, grab this, and everyone thinks you, like... You have to rush can't around. You, can you run through those walls? Yeah. Everyone's like, you have to rush around, and it's like, no, you just go through these walls, and you're done, and then you just wait. And then you have to work. wait for it to go away, so you're just kind of... You, you can maybe start back, flipping up a wall. If you nah, can. Need to. Got a wall jump. 
Yeah, no, I'm, I'm in it for the 120, because there's a hundred. At some point, I have to do this game in my lifetime, and I got three more minutes left, so... Uh... <laughs> okay, was that everything for that course? That is everything That is Wet Dry wet world, world done. So next is Tall Tall Mountain, Tiny Huge... We only got four levels left. We have Tall Tall Mountain, Tiny Huge Island, Tick Tock Clock, and Rainbow Ride. Yeah. Uh... Go back in the uh, list. Yeah, because Wet Dry World, right is Tall Tall Mountain, go left. Snow and then Snowman's Land was the other one on this floor. Yeah. So we've done two of the ones on this floor. So it's just the two more on this floor and the two more on the next floor. Yep. All right. So until next time, everyone, we got four courses left to go.